All right, welcome back, Dial Builders. I have another tutorial for you guys. I wanted to um, pretty much make a tutorial of how to kind of save money on paintbrushes. Uh, so I get a lot of private messages telling me what's the best paintbrushes or how to clean my paintbrushes after I'm done or how to take care of them. And I just want to show you guys a quick tutorial of how to restore your old paintbrushes. I do spend a lot of money on paintbrushes when building dioramas, especially if I'm building on a big project. I forget to clean my paintbrushes or I clean them really fast, but I don't do a very good job. So I have a couple of different examples of paintbrushes that you might have that, you know, you thinking about throwing away and buying new ones, but they, we can restore them and can fix them. And you can get a lot more um, work out of them. So I just have a couple of paintbrushes just to give you guys a demonstration how we're going to fix these up. So I just have this one. This one is just straight paint dried up on here. It's one of the paintbrushes that fell uh, off my workstation. I just find later and then it was all hard. As you can see, it's pretty hard. This is another paintbrush where... You know, I just gave it a quick wash and didn't do a very good job. The bristles were like white on these. And as you can see, some of the bristles are kind of like sticking out. Uh, this uh, tutorial is going to show you how to fix this as well and reshape your brushes. Uh, this one I cleaned like I used multiple times. I cleaned this a lot, um, but I'm going to try to get this on camera. As you can see, it kind of splits the bristles up right here. And that's just paint getting stuck right in the ferrule of the brush. And, you know, sometimes you do clean it out really well and you wash it and it still ends up that way. Is because the binder that they use in the acrylic paints that we use um, gets stuck in there. You might see all the paint come out, but then uh, the binder gets stuck in there. So that that's what happens to your brush. It kind of separates the bristles. And the same thing with this one. This one's really messed up. This one I abused a lot out of it. But I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get right into the tutorial. I want to show you how to fix these brushes and how to restore them to their proper uh, way. And you guys could get a lot of use out of your brushes and not spend a lot of money. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the first step. All right, so I just got out a little tiny electric stove and a pot. Uh, so the first step we're going to do is we're going to take distilled white vinegar. And we're going to go ahead and put this in our pot. I'm going to put a good amount because I have a couple paintbrushes I want to fix up. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the stove and we're going to go ahead and bring this to a boil. All right, so I just got this to a boil. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the heat on this. I'm going to go ahead off camera. I just want to show you guys it is boiling. I just want to go ahead and show you guys that before I go off camera and pour this into a, a jar or something clear so you guys can see how it affects the paintbrushes and the paint that's on it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. We'll be right back. All right, so here we are. I just put it in a quick mason jar so you guys can have a good look through the glass as I dip the paintbrushes in there. And you want to make sure your vinegar was boiling hot. And as you can see already, you can see bubbles coming off of the paintbrush. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. Yeah. So there's the bubbles working. And basically the the white distilled vinegar is uh, dissolving the paint and the medium that's inside the paint. Because as you know, the acrylic paints that we use on our dioramas is just pigment and uh, acrylic medium. So it's going to go ahead and loosen that all up. But what you want to make sure is you're keeping an eye on this. You don't want to keep it down there for a long time. As you can see already, I'm pushing at the bottom of the glass and the paintbrush is already becoming very soft and the reason why I say you want to keep an eye on this you don't want to keep the brush in there because then uh, the vinegar is going to go into the ferrule of the paintbrush which is the part that contains the glue that keeps your bristles together so you want to make sure you're moving the paintbrush around and you're just dipping your paintbrush in as you can see this was the paintbrush that was rock hard and the paint the bristles are actually moving around now I'm going to go ahead and do this and make sure it's all dissolved. And it doesn't take very long. I'm just doing it right here on camera so you guys can see it doesn't take very long. And, and as you can see, hopefully the camera's picking it up. It's already, you can see bits of dried acrylic paint coming off into the vinegar. So these bristles are nice and soft now. And we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step. I'm going to go ahead and take this off camera and I'm going to bring in something I could uh, show you guys the next step on. Okay, so we're going to be right back with that. Okay, so here we are, just fresh out of the uh, boiling vinegar. I just grabbed the plate that I've been using to clean all my brushes on. It's just a cheap plate from uh, the dollar store. As you can see, you can already see scratches on there. It's because this next step, we're going to use um, a wire brush. We're going to go ahead and go through and brush out all the little chunks. And basically, you can start seeing it's going to start taking all the dried acrylic paint that's in there. And you're going to start seeing little bits coming off of it. And you're going to want to do this throughout the whole brush. You want to get as close as, as close as possible to the ferrule, which is where the metal and the bristles meet. Like I said, right under there, that's where the glue is. 
and you're gonna wanna get all the dried up paint out of your brushes. And as I'm doing this, I have the other uh, three brushes that I showed in the beginning of the video soaking in that vinegar. So I could show you guys at the end of the video how all of them came out. And if you remember, this was the brush that was rock hard. There's acrylic paint dried up on there for a good couple months. And if, if you're doing this and you see that it's not getting clean all the way, you can give it another dip in that uh, boiling vinegar. So you can make sure that your paintbrush is nice and clean. So I'm going to go ahead and just go at it with this wire brush and getting all the little chunks out and cleaning this brush off. As you can see, the brush was basically all black and now you can see the true color of the bristles in there. And as soon as you're done with this step, if you remember the shape of your brush, you're going to want to shape it back up to the original shape. So if you have any loose bristles as well or bristles that are pointing out, you can actually fix that problem right now. So say you're done cleaning this brush, you would reshape the bristles and then you're going to want to leave your brush drying at the edge of your table because if you leave it pointing straight up like if you have a drawer where you keep all your paintbrushes and the bristles are pointed up all that uh extra gunk that might be left in there or the vinegar that's in there it's going to go back into your ferrule and it's going to eat up that uh glue that's in there and you're going to lose a lot of bristles so this one's pretty much done so the next step is i'm going to take this to the sink i can't film that part because my camera won't fit over there properly so I'm going to take this to the sink and get some soapy water some warm soapy water and then just rinse this brush out so we'll be right back with that all right I have this other paintbrush it has some white paint on it it's one of the ones from the beginning I just want to show you guys how much stuff actually comes out since the other paint that was in the other brush was black and it matched with the uh, the plate that I have under here so I just want to show you with the uh, white paint stuck on this brush you can see how much stuff actually comes out of this so I'm just using my brush and going through all the bristles with them and brushing out all the crud that's in there. And like I said, this one was probably maybe one of the worst ones that I had. And as you can see right here, hopefully the camera's picking up without too much glare. All those little specks of white, that's all the paint coming out. And then how it's murky right here, that's all the, the acrylic medium inside the paint. Mixing with the vinegar. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up the rest of these brushes. And like I said, we'll come back to the next step. I just want to show you guys how much stuff actually comes out of these brushes. As you can see, all those little specks, that's all acrylic paint that was stuck in there. And as you can see with this paintbrush, the bristles were tough in the beginning. And now I can move them around. So like I said, I'm going to get the rest of this paint out of here. And we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step. All right, so I just finished washing those paintbrushes with warm and soapy water. And now they're drying. I just want to quickly show you guys one more thing as those paintbrushes are drying as you can see this is the vinegar that we used as you can see at the very bottom you can see a lot of uh the paint pigment down there that was stuck in the brushes so as you can see it did get a lot of it out while it was in there so i'm gonna go ahead and let those finish up drying and then we have one more step to rehabilitating our brushes and getting another use out of them all right so here we are they're nice and dry they went through the vinegar bath and I washed them with warm soapy water. As you can see, this one is really, this is one of my oldest brushes and it's still soft. Now I can move the bristles. Um, I used to use this one for dry brushing. So the, the bristles got trained to kind of stay out that way on this one. Just want to show you all these brushes are nice and soft now. This one, you, this one was really crusty and now it's really soft. I use this to black wash or even black base my uh, dioramas. And like I said, this one's nice and soft and smooth as well. The bristles can move. But if you, since this one, I don't want any brush marks on my dioramas because I um, black base them sometimes without a black wash. And if you don't have a soft brush, then you're going to see the brush marks. And same thing with a lot of these. If you want these to be nice and soft and almost like feel like they're brand new, uh, this next step is going to help with that. So we're going to basically rehydrate the bristles so they don't uh, get dried out and stay stiff after they dry. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and right here, I'm going to move these to the side and bring in our cup that we used earlier for the vinegar. And I already washed it out and I'm going to go ahead and put some baby oil right into the bottom of that. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and spill it everywhere apparently too. And so, like I said, with this one, since the bristles got trained in a weird way, I'm going to go ahead and do this and soak it. Just a quick soak and a quick dip in this baby oil. You're going to want to brush off the excess as much as possible. 
And like I said, you don't want to drench this thing. You just want to do a quick dip, swirl it around. Go ahead and move that to the side so I can show you guys. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my fingers to kind of reshape the bristles. As you can see, it's already straightening out pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and do this to one other brush, that big brush that I used to the black piece. I'm going to let them dry and we're going to come back and take a final look at these brushes. So here we are with our brushes all clean and nice and soft now. Just want to demonstrate one more guy, one more time for you guys. These do work. The bristles, they get stained. But as you can see, they were black, completely black before you can actually see the natural color. I can reuse this brush. Same thing with this one. It's nice and smooth and straight. No paint in between. This one was the worst one by far, but I got it to work pretty well. Probably still going to use this one for dry brushing, but as you can see, the bristles could bend now perfectly fine. This one also very soft and it kept its shape as you can see. Um, if you guys can't find any of the material that I use in this uh, tutorial, I am going to leave uh, Amazon links down below. So as always guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, and hit that sexy subscribe button.